Welcome to the Pro Analytics Tornado Raman Spectroscopy presentation. Raman is an incredible process analytical technologies device that has been gaining acceptance in many manufacturing processes. In this presentation, we will cover the basics of Raman spectroscopy as well as what makes the Tornado Raman different than other commercially available Raman instruments. Raman has been demonstrated as a reliable PAT device in upstream and downstream applications. Unlike NIR and IR technologies which measure the absorption of energy or photons by a sample, Raman spectroscopy measures the amount of vibrational energy after a sample has been struck by a photon. You can think of Raman as a tuning fork for molecules. After the molecule has been struck by a photon, the molecule will vibrate, giving its own unique signature profile, like a fingerprint. Let's review the basic principles of Raman spectroscopy. Here we have the Tornado Process Guardian Raman with the Hudson Direct Immersion Probe. On the left, we have a graph representing the laser intensity and the different vibrational energy states. Photons, supplied by the laser, will fire into the sample where it's absorbed temporarily, sending the sample into an excited vibrational state before lowering its energy and scattering the light where it is picked up by the detector. Again, think of a tuning fork touching the surface and making it vibrate. The detectors pick up on these different vibrational energy states. There are three Raman scattering profiles when samples are struck by its laser energy. Let's review. Here we have a graph of laser intensity versus frequency or vibrational energy. The photon strikes the sample, vibrates in the excited state before releasing all the energy in its ground state. In this case, VI is the incidental of the laser light and Vs is the Raman scattering profile. Here, Vs is equal to Vi. This is known as Rayleigh scattering, where the amount of energy going in equals the amount of energy that has been emitted. The second Raman profile is when the laser strikes the sample and we've moved the vibrational energy state from the ground state to V1. The molecules are vibrating at a slightly higher energy state from its original ground state. This is called a Stoke line, where the amount of vibrational energy measured is less than the amount of energy that went into the sample. Vs is less than Vi. And the third Raman profile is the anti-Stoke line. In these cases, the sample is already in an excited state. For example, the sample could be heated and the molecules are already at V1 but this time the light is scattered with more intensity once the sample has reached the ground state. In this case, Vs is greater than Vi. Raman instruments filter out the Rayleigh and anti-Stoke lines, leaving just the Stoke lines. It's a rare event where just one photon in a million gives a Stoke line. As a result, your laser source needs to be strong. Let's look at what makes Tornado Raman different from their competitors. Traditional Raman instruments will use unfiltered lasers for their beam technology. You can think of this as more of a shotgun effect, where the light is just scattered over the sample and the instrument detects the resulting Raman scatter. You get a high signal, but the resolution of these samples is extremely poor. Some instruments will try to focus the beam onto the sample using a slit technology. This blocks about 75 to 95 percent of the light energy to the sample, so the detection gives a low signal, but you get decent resolution. But if you are looking at two compounds that are close, it is difficult to distinguish their profiles from each other. Tornado has created HTVS technology, or High Throughput Virtual Slit, which anamorphically reshapes the beam so that 99 percent of the light energy hits the sample. With Tornado, you get excellent throughput and resolution when compared to the other Raman technologies. Only Tornado has the HTVS technology. Let's look at a quick data set from the application note, High Throughput Raman Analysis of Protein Glycosylation. This application note can be downloaded from our website. Here, we are looking at two isomers, RNase A and RNase B. They differ by a single post-translational glycosylation event. We'll use the Tornado Raman to tell these two isomers apart. 
These types of post-translational glycam modifications are quite common in antibody production, so the ability to distinguish minor differences in protein structure has great importance in research and study. Here is the Raman profile of RNase A. And here is the Raman profile of RNase B. Let's overlay the two profiles. Can you see the difference? The orange circle shows the RNase B glycan sugar around 1350 in the Raman shift. Tornado is so sensitive that it also picked up the turn structure at asparagine at position 34, around 1666 to 1668 in the Raman shift. Let's look at the Tornado equipment. Tornado Hyperflux Pro Ramen is on the left and the Tornado Process Guardian is on the right. Both come with a 785 nanometer laser source that is adjustable between 20 and 495 megawatts. Each takes the measurements under 30 seconds and come with Tornado's HTVS technology. And both instruments will pair with either the direct immersion or non-contact Raman probes. Hyperflux Pro is run through a laptop with the SpectralSoft software and the Process Guardian is a standalone unit. Let's look at the non-contact and contact Raman probes. The Tornado Hudson 785 is a non-contact Raman probe for the analysis of powder beds or the analysis of your raw materials, salts, media components, etc. It can also be used with vials to examine the quality of your product. The Hudson Bioreactor Immersion Probe works with glass, stainless steel, or single-use bioreactors for real-time product or metabolite analysis. And this is the Spectroport Raman Probe, which pairs with the Sartorius Amber Systems. It plugs directly into the Amber Analysis Module and is used to view metabolite or product profiles. Be sure to check out our other analytical devices, such as the Aper Biomass Probe to determine total viable cells, or the BlueSense Off-Gas Sensors to increase product yield. Both report the results in real time. If you have any questions, please contact us for more information. And if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. Pro Analytics, empowering bioprocess.